Welcome back. We're looking at the sketch that we did in the last lesson, and we're going to be using MECQ to build some of the fittings in this lesson. I'm working in a program called AviCAD, which is our standalone product, which has MECQ in it. So it's a product that we sell for those that don't have AutoCAD or CAD, and or for those just getting started with CAD as well. And we also offer a beginning CAD class for those users. I'll leave you a link to that in the video description below. A couple things to check first are dim scale, which is the factor multiplied by the fittings, text, and dimensions in MECQ. We need to check that. And right now it's set to 0.7. Now I have it set to 0.7 because I don't want it drawn one to one. I want to draw them just a little bit smaller than one to one. It's going to be about 30% smaller. That's a important thing to check. One last thing I wanted to mention in your object snap setting, if you type in OS, you want to make sure that you turn on node for this upcoming lesson. So this is going to help you snap to the points that I added in the previous lesson. Now, the way I like to load up the piping ISO is to just type in PIP and then select it from the list. You can either do that or you could load it from the menu or the ribbon. Let's go ahead and change our size to four inch. Also on the left side here, I have these two options unchecked just to keep it simple. I am working in the right view, which is correct because if you look at the sketch here, this is the right view and this is where I'll be working first. Click the nodes configuration, make sure this is set to around 0.08 and that's going to make our nodes nice and bold. And once we've done that, we can double click on the valve. From here, we can choose the check valve labeled number one from the menu and we can choose the one on the bottom here. And then we can specify the insert point. I'm just going to click the node here. Now in my object snaps, I did turn on the node because I'll be selecting nodes quite often in this input here. And then for the pipe direction, I'm just going to click the endpoint here. That's going to put in our check valve. Now on each side, I'm going to put a flange. So I'm just going to click the flange right here. That's right next to the valve on the left. And here I can select under type, I can select weld neck and I'll choose the one on the bottom here. I'll just left click on the midpoint there. And then the same thing for the pipe direction. I'll just click down here on the end of pipe. It's asking me if I want to add fasteners. I say yes, because that's going to add it to the bill of materials, which I want to show you. And then I'll select the flange again for the other side. I'll select the bottom one again, and then I'll pick it from the midpoint and then establish my pipe direction. And that's gonna put in the flange on the opposite side. For add fasteners, I'm gonna just go ahead and select yes to add those to the bill of materials. And then I'm gonna select another valve. So we'll select the valve again. This time we will do a ball valve. And I'll be selecting it from the center here. So the one on the bottom. For my install point, I'm gonna go ahead and put one here pipe direction this way. And then my flange again will be the welding neck. Put one on this side and add fasteners. Yes. And we'll put one on this side as well. Now let's zoom up here a little ways. We'll select the main option here because we need to change the pipe direction for the T's. So the T's are going to be in the left direction. We'll select the T icon here and we'll choose view draw. And we'll pick this one on the far right, which allows it to insert it at the center. We'll zoom down here, select the insert point. Pipe direction is going to be this way and the branch is going to be this way. That's going to put in that T there for us. Let's do one more T down here. We'll pick the install point, pipe direction, and then the branch. There's a T there on the opposite side that we'll do. Let's go ahead and do that. Insert point, the pipe direction, and the branch. So let's go back to the main menu. I'm going to change the view to the right view. I'm going to show you the equipment. 
And then underneath this, select the centrifugal pump, choose draw, and then we can just draw out here to the side for now. So the insert point is going to be here. I'm just going to estimate the length because this is just symbolic, really. The length will be this way, and then the impeller and suction will be in this direction here. And that inserts the pump in there like that. It is asking us whether or not we want to add this to the list. So I'll just say yes, and we'll just select enter there. So let's just go ahead and just move this into the pipe run now. Let's say move. We'll select it from the center and place it here. Let's put in elbow here. And this is the right view again. So we'll go into the right view. Let's just go ahead and put a run in here. I'm not going to insert the straight piece of pipe using MetQ today just to save video time, but you could go through and do this everywhere. So it's really just a three point pick. Then I press enter to complete the last piece of pipe. This last piece of pipe does require that you press enter and then let's do a couple more. So since I'm in the right view, I'm going to do one here. I'm going to just come down and put an elbow in here. Again, I need to press enter, complete the run. Let's put one down here, pressing enter. Now I'm going to change views into my left view and I'll put another couple elbows in. So there's this one. Press enter. And then there's one down here. Center. And there's one here. Let's just exit for now. So what I want to do is take the valves and the elbows and then just copy them around versus using MetQ for everything. I'm okay with this run here. I need to erase this line here. So here we have a check valve. Here we have a ball valve. Let me go into my drawing settings. That's DS for drawing settings. And I want to change this back to rectangular, the snap mode here. So that's going to make my cursor straight again. So let's select this and we'll choose copy and we'll copy it from the midpoint here. And we'll pan down and we'll place it here. Let's move this over to this. I'm going to pan up here, copy this check valve from here, and then copy it down here. And then I'm going to take this T and copy it here and here. <laughs> get rid of this and I'll copy this elbow. So I'm just going to copy these fittings around just to save input time, really go back and then I'll join everything together just using plain ISO lines and snapping. I don't really care too much in my bill of materials about the lengths of these pipes. I just want to show you the schedule of the fittings. Uh, if you want, you can do a full schedule. You can do the pipe lengths by turning the pipe length option on in the main dialog. If you need that, we do need an elbow down here at this corner. I just noticed. So let's just put one in and select the straight piece of pipe and press enter. We can take this T here and we can copy it down to this point here. We are going to isolate this layer. So let's click on the pipe layer here and we'll type in LAY ISO. That's going to allow us to just view the schematic here for a second. Let's just put in some connecting points in here. I'm just using the line command at this point, snapping to the endpoint there. And then what I'm going to do is do a copy command. Type in CP for crossing polygon. This is going to allow me to select these in a better way. So press the F8 key to turn off my ortho mode. I can just select these like so. It's found 87 in the set. 
and I press enter. And now I can copy from the intersection of this T. So I'm just going to copy it from here down. This one, I'm just going to have to move in because it's a little bit different. So we'll just select it like this, type M for move, and we'll just move it in like this. So really, it's just a matter of connecting these points up now. So we'll just pick the endpoints here. And it's a little bit repetitive, this input, but it goes pretty quickly. I think we're missing a fitting here, so let's deal with that. So layer and then uniso brings it all back. So we're missing a uh, valve here. And I believe that's a check valve. So we'll copy this, this, and this. I was thinking with CO command and then copying it down this way. Now, if we need to force snap that node, we just type in NOD and then select it this way. Now it's just a matter of connecting this piece here to this here. And then what we'll do is we'll move these objects with the crossing. We'll move them to the main layer. We'll move this one as well to the main layer. Let's go back and isolate this layer one more time. So we clicked on one of these points here. Lay ISO is the command. And we can erase all our construction lines. Lay an ISO brings them back. Now we need to take care of the way that these points are showing up with the PD mode. Remember that from the last video and we'll just change this to one. So let's take a look at these real quick here. Make sure that these are all set to by layer. That's going to make the color show by its layer, not as a separate color. So that's it for part two. So in this lesson, we learned how to create fittings with MetQ. We took the sketch that we created in part one and used it as a background. Then what we did is we traced over the background using the MetQ ISO utility, creating our elbows, T's, flanges, and fittings. Then we selected those fittings and then using the copy command, we snap to different intersections in our sketch. Then we later erase those construction lines and then connected the remaining pieces of pipe in using lines. I hope you liked the video. It's actually a free sample taken from a online CAD course that I'm currently teaching called Shortcut CAD. There'll be about nine hours of in-depth teaching available for beginner CAD users or users just wanting to improve their CAD skills. And all the videos are lifetime, so you can view them whenever you wish. So check that out using the link here or in the YouTube description below.